I found that I need to keep the printing and the painting separate because they're such different languages that they um, invade each other too much if you've got them in the same space for me. Here in the painting studio it's very quiet and very lonely and quite contemplative. In the studio it's, it's all hands on deck and everything happening together. Jane's much better at this than me. I'm rubbish at it. Jane, what makes a good blender? Being slightly retentive. Flair. I like that. Now that is a 1970s Cuban rainbow roll. So what we're doing, we're doing the, the reduction method. So what you carve away reveals the color that you printed underneath. Rotate, as I say. Okay, so we're going to do it to the logs. I think it's good. Just a question of getting the registration right. Yeah, At last. At last, that's delicious. Printmaking for me is less difficult than painting, partly because the materials you use have their own uh, truth to them. And there's another thing you don't, I don't care so much in print. I'm not so nervous. When you stretch up an expensive canvas and it's beautiful and, and, and plain and it's very frightening. And there's a sort of abandon that I have with print. I go for it. It's a bit like building something. You just cobble it together and it's very freeing it's quite logical and me being quite sort of manic I think I really love the zen like qualities of printmaking it gives me a wonderful sense of control that I need sometimes 